Cleveland! This video is going to be very hard to predict because we have no idea how long exactly Deshaun Watson's suspension is going to be. Right now, it's supposed to be six games. However, the NFL is trying to suspend him for the season. So, with that being said, this is my prediction video and I predict that the NFL will win this case and indeed suspend Deshaun Watson for the year. He suspended Calvin Ridley for a year because he was caught gambling, so I think they're going to suspend Deshaun. It's really unfortunate for Browns fans as this season is essentially a write-off, or is it? The Browns still have a good structured team. They waived Jarvis Landry but acquired Amari Cooper, who is definitely better. They, of course, have a solid defense and run game. However, they did sign David Njoku to a big contract. A little bit overpaid, but we move. This year relies on Jacoby Brissett, and although I believe Jacoby Brissett, is a solid, Jacoby Brissett is a solid QB, he's just not it, is he? However, let's go game by game. Week 1 versus the Panthers, Baker's revenge game, and he was looking pretty sharp in preseason. The game is away in Carolina, and I think Baker is going to top his former team here. Week 2 versus the Jets, home opener, and the Jets are a fun, young, excited team, but again... They are young, and Zach Wilson is expected to miss two to four weeks, so he may miss this game. Who knows? Even if he plays, though, I expect the Browns' run game to get this done. First win of the season here. Week three at home versus Steelers on prime time. Guys, the Steelers' quarterback room isn't the best either right now, and the Browns overall have a good team, a prime time game, and since they're at home, I'm giving Cleveland the win here. Week four away versus the Falcons. The Falcons are not a good football team, and the Browns should run straight through them. So Cleveland, you're three and one, but it's gonna get bad. Week five versus the Chargers. Last year, what a game that was. One of the best games of the season. However, Jacoby is not as talented as Baker, doesn't have that much spark, and they will not be able to keep up with the Chargers offense. So this is a loss. Week 6 versus the Patriots. The Patriots are also a very hard team to predict. However, I think this is going to be the beginning of the end for Jacoby Brissett. I believe Bill Belichick will manage to get this win as the Patriots just have a better system. And if Bill Belichick is going to take a loss, it's not going to be to a below average quarterback. Week 7 versus the Ravens. It's a shame because if you had Deshaun Watson, I predicted you winning this game, but you don't. So... Week 8 versus the Bengals, Jacoby will not outduel Joe Burrow. Week 9 is your bye week, and at the bye week, I have Jacoby's Browns at 3-5. and five. Week 10, coming back from the bye to play the Dolphins. Dolphins do have some sparks in them, and this game is very hard to predict. I'm actually going to give the Browns the win here. They'll be coming back off the bye and have loads of time to prepare. Also, Tua is not a good quarterback either, so that means that this game is up for the taking. Week 11 versus the Bills. Week 12 versus the Bucks. Week 13 in Texas to play the Texans. The Texans also are not a very good football team. The Browns team overall is better, so Cleveland win. Week 14 versus the Bengals. Week 15 versus the Ravens. Week 16 versus Saints, again, another tough team to predict. However, coming off back-to-back -back losses to division rivals, the team's morale will be low. They've probably already accepted that the season is essentially done, so I'm predicting the Saints get a done year and Cleveland loses again. Week 17 versus the Commanders, it's an away game. However, I feel like at this point, the NFC East is going to be essentially claimed by Philly or Dallas. Carson Wentz could be messy. Washington isn't that amazing, so I'm giving the Browns a very low-scoring win here. Week 18 versus Steelers. You beat them last time, however, you will not beat them twice. Mike Tallman is just a better coach, and it just makes sense for the classy Steelers to seal off their season with a win, even though they won't be so good this year either. So, that means on the year I have the Browns finishing 6-11. and Not a great year for the Browns, but again, I'm predicting that this is going to be a write-off season, and Deshaun's first full season will be the following year. Let me know what you guys think. Will Deshaun play come October? Stay tuned for next video where I'll be predicting the Dallas Cowboys.